Walmart went live again. Let's go ahead and talk about it right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Bob Games. As you guys know, the PS5 is hard to find, and this week we've gotten, you know, a couple drops already from Walmart, and it's been crazy because they've been putting the PS5 up for sale at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and then every 10 minutes after that. Now, a lot of people have been successful with that, and the thing is that Walmart has been putting up, like, you know, the digital console and the regular console. When people go, you know, order the PS5, it sells out super fast. So I've noticed that, you know, on their second wave, people are being more successful. So I'm very curious here. So if you got your PS5 from Walmart, what time did you get it at? Did you get it at 3 o'clock? You know, 3.10, 20, 30, or 3.40? I'm not sure if they went to 3.50, but if they did, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious to see what times, you know, people are being successful securing the bag from Walmart. Now, the PS5 is still like one of the hottest items, and the thing about the Walmart drop is that it's coming, you know, after Christmas. I know a lot of people want to get the PS5 before Christmas, but unfortunately, that is not the case. You know, you'll get it back, I think it's like January 7th, 8th, and sometimes I've seen some people report like, you know, January 18th, which is pretty far away. But, you know, at least you got the PS5, right? And that's the thing that matters the most here. People will really want to get the PS5, start playing awesome next-gen games on it. And uh, that is what matters in the long run. Now, I want to go ahead and talk about PlayStation Direct. PlayStation Direct dropped yesterday, and they had digital consoles. Now, they had a new Q system. I mean, it's still the same Q, but a new look to their Q system. They had a countdown and everything that will let you know when the the consoles would go up for sale. So that was really cool to see like a, a countdown or whatever. So they've been going live between, I wanna say three, you know, 3 p.m. and like 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Like at any time between there, they've been going live. So make sure you check out PlayStation Direct to be sure that you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Real Pop Games. I go ahead and talk a lot about the PS5 on there. Not only about PS5 though, you know, I also talk about games and stuff like that and I try to interact with other people, you know, gamers of all sorts and stuff like that. So I like talking to people and, you know, getting feedback about different games and stuff like that. But I do talk a lot about the PS5 on there and I try to share as soon as the things go live, as soon as the PS5s go live or Xbox Series X and stuff like that, I try to share it so that people get a chance to get these consoles because they're very hard to find. And that is what I do on Twitter. You know, I'm trying to monitor the sites on there and then I'll show the link or whatever whenever I find out what happens on Twitter. So that is the you know way you can go ahead and check that out. Now, guys, you know, I want to go ahead and talk about the channel for a little bit. So I've been talking a lot about the PS5 content, you know, for months now. And you guys have been completely awesome checking out my content and stuff like that. Thank you so much. But I'm playing through Cyberpunk 2077 now, and uh, it doesn't look that great. I mean, I, I thought it was going to look way better on PlayStation 5, but the game has a few glitches and stuff like that that I thought would be ironed out by now. And that is the funny thing, because CD Projekt Red, they delayed this game more than once. It was pushed back more than once. Now, I know it's been in development for years, but why put out something that is not complete. That is the main reason why a lot of people, you know, like old school games. It's like, you know, when we grew up, you know, back in the day in the 90s, a game came out and it was complete. If it wasn't a good game, then it wasn't a good game, but it was still complete. It was a complete game. Nowadays, games get released and, you know, I feel like, you know, 70% of the time, I mean, I'm just making this up in my head right now, but like 70 to 80% of the time, like, I feel the games aren't really complete. They have a ton of glitches. They have a, a day one patch that fixes glitches and stuff like that. I mean, come on. If it's not going to be done, then why put it out? And that is a thing that is happening with Cyberpunk 2077. You know, the biggest issues are on Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 because it looks like, you know, they didn't really, you know, optimize the game for those consoles. But the PC, you know, looks really good, and the PS5 looks good, Xbox Series X looks good, but, you know, it still suffers from a couple glitches here and there, and I've experienced a couple of them, you know, for example, I was playing earlier today, and I was in a room or whatever, and there was a dead body on the side, and then I'm exploring, trying to find, like, you know, stuff 
Because, you know, whenever I play an RPG, I try to get, like, all the loot and stuff like that. And it doesn't matter what. I take my time trying to look for every little thing to see if I want to keep it in my inventory. And as I'm looking, I open a box to, you know, add something to my inventory. And, I like, as soon as I open the box, the, the dead body that was, you know, probably, like, you know, in the next room over. But I can still see it from the, from the door. It, like, it jumped up. Like, you know. And then I noticed that when I would open the box, it would, like, move. And I'm like, what? You know, so basically what I'm trying to get at is that the box was connected to that body. Like something triggered the body to move when I would touch the box. And that glitch was pretty funny in my opinion. I was like, yo, what is going on? I thought it was like another enemy coming in through the room or whatever. But no, it was that body moving. And that was funny. But yeah, nowadays, you know, we have to give it time for these things to grow and get better and better and better. All right, guys. So that is what I'm playing through right now. As soon as I'm done with the game, with the main story, I'll go ahead and do a review. Now... You know, my reviews on this channel, I don't do them right away. I take my time. I play the game. I try to learn as much as I can from the game so I can give a thorough review, not just something that I try to rush. You know what I'm saying? So that is uh, what I'm doing with Cyberpunk 2077. And besides that, I'm also playing, you know, the Immortals Phoenix Rising game. I'm playing that as well. And I'm trying to get the platinum for Spider-Man Miles Morales. I have a couple things that I have to do there. Um, a couple trophies that I have to unlock still, so I'm still playing through that. But, again, guys, as soon as any PS5 information does drop, I will go ahead and share it either on my channel, but for sure I will share it on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on there, guys. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe and peace out.